we are at the floating market. I couldn't see him then. We're getting on the boat. I'll sit here. Can I sit here? Uh, Not here. Here? Okay. Can I sit here? The boat that I was on was uh, on the outskirts of the floating market. Uh, you can get um, a boat in the market, so you'd have to actually go there by car or by, um, by bus to get to the market, but I thought this was a better way of going there. So yeah, you're about a 10 minute uh, boat ride uh, away from the, the actual floating market. It was quite an enjoyable uh, ride, uh, you zipping through the, the jungle. And now the water does look very dirty, and it was very dirty. But it didn't smell. Uh, if anyone's been to Venice, you'll know the water in Venice absolutely smells horrendous. But uh, here it didn't smell. It, I think it was just muddy more than anything else. Uh, you zip past um, all of these houses. These are actually people live here. As you go by, you can see there's lots of restaurants and uh, places where you can grab something to eat. And you can even buy some uh, cannabis on the way. a lot of these drivers uh, have deals with the people around here that uh, if they um, sell anything to the passengers they will get a commission that's why they tend to be uh, driving past um, all these restaurants bars they do stop at some places as well so this is officially the beginning of the floating market Skirts. Uh, there's a lot of really nice um, cafes here to get something to eat and drink. Uh, the coffee in Vietnam is just brilliant, it's the best coffee I've ever had. So as we're coming through this little um, entrance, this is where it actually does start the, the floating market. Thank you. 
if you are on one of these boats, then there's no rush to get anything um, if they do stop, uh, because later on you do get off the boat and you can have a walk around here, which I did later, and you'll see that in the video. Uh, and then you take the boat uh, back to uh, the place where you first started. I was just going to say the same thing. Doesn't this Where give you James Bond vibes? I think it was here. Yeah, Roger Moore in, um, what was it? It was a man with the golden gun. The man with the golden gun. <laughs> yes. And he got that redneck sheriff that he gets in the car with. Yes. Amazing coffee. Okay. So you've got the bridge so you can get to the other side if you wanted to or continue on. You might cross over to the other side. <clears throat> it is incredibly touristy here. But that's to be expected.
places where you can hire a boat. Boat prices will vary. Um, <clears throat> if you want the elect the petrol one or the row one. Um, and I think I would go for the row one. I went on the um, the motor one, but then that is a bit of an experience as well. With that great big motor on the back of it. So it's uh, it takes too many pages to charge. Definitely an So they tend to only turn the uh, motor on when they're uh, to get going and then they'll just sort of let it cruise you can't really go too fast around here but you could walk around here for a good couple of hours but it's too hot i've already been here probably almost two hours already and i'm gonna head back off now so the price for the uh, boat so this one in front of us, uh, if you wanted to use that one, that's 400 baht per person. And then if you wanted the motor one, that is 2000 baht per person for, for an hour. So the other one that is 400 for an hour and the other one is 2000 per person per hour. So that's a lot. So, uh, or you can do 3000 for two hours. So. An hour is probably de uh, definitely enough, but I think well worth doing it. Personally, this one is more relaxing, I think. The other one is a bit more traditional. Well, I don't know if traditional, but a bit more different. I mean, if you've seen the movie, um, the, what was it? The Gun Man with the Golden Gun, the James Bond movie. You'll remember a scene in there where they had one of the motorboats there in that. I actually don't know if it was filmed here. It'd be interesting to find out if it was filmed here. But that was a long time ago. But definitely an enjoyable place to hang out for uh, the afternoon. Uh, loads of places to eat and drink. A bit overpriced, but it's a tourist trap. What do you expect? But yeah. Um, something I would really recommend doing if you are in Thailand and well worth doing.